So anyway, Rob, uh, Tom Brady. I, I know you, that's why you. That's why you're in a bad mood because now we're what? talking about Tom Brady saying he might not be done. Wow. He appeared, Rob, on Deep Cuts, the social media podcast with the barber Vic Blends. And check out this conversation, Rob. One day there's a situation, right? Maybe it's the 49ers, maybe, you know, heading to the playoffs. Offense is great. Patriots, somebody, could be somebody, somebody, Raiders somebody, could be, you never know. God forbid somebody goes down, would you pick up that phone? I'm not opposed to it. If they would, I don't know if they're going to let me if I become an owner in the NFL team, but I don't know if, uh, I don't know. I'm always going to be in good shape, always be able to throw the ball. So to come in for a little bit, like MJ coming back, I don't know if they let me, but I wouldn't be opposed to it. Wow. Rob, your thoughts? Uh, he is Meshuggah. He is so crazy and so pathetic. And wow, here he me. is on the cusp. Yeah, I'm calling him pathetic. Wow. He's on the Why? cusp because he's a 50 years old talking about I still. that old. What I'm close to it about still coming back and playing and, and jumping in on some team that has a chance and I still can throw the ball well and all that. 46. He's about to, he's he's about to embark on. On a TV career making $37.5 million a year, uh, his family broke up, and I'm not saying it was all over football. Obviously, there was other issues there, too. And he can't let it go. I just I feel bad for people who can't let it go in life um, because it just feels like uh, at some point, Chris, it, it's, it's, it's okay to um, – to look at your accomplishments, feel good about them, and move on. Because what people don't look at, and I know Tom Brady doesn't think about it like this, and a lot of people don't, that you stop other people from having, uh, the longer you you hang around, you stop other people from, from allowing those guys to have their dreams and have their opportunities. Guys stick around too long. And I just think that that's the shame of it is that he, he hasn't been fulfilled or he needs to have his neck broken or he needs to have his leg snapped in two God, or he please. needs to play awful. Uh, you know what I mean? Where they rip the uniform off of him for this him to be dark. done. I just, I, I, <laughs> Come I, I on, just, man. it's just, it's just to me absolutely pathetic and, God, and, please. and nonsensical. I totally disagree. I totally disagree. First of all, he's 46, not 50. And he's still, a, in life, a fairly young man. And I think, Rob, that the kind of the, the, the what's the word I'm looking at? I, I guess standard or whatever. I think that it's changed. And I don't know what he can go out there and do. I know the last time we saw him play, he was actually good, threw for 4,700 yards. Threw for 25 touchdowns, nine interceptions. They made the playoffs. Not a very good team, but they made the playoffs. And I think now guys are just saying, you know what? He looked at Joe Flacco, who granted was 39. But I've always been better than Joe Flacco. I can go out there and do that. And I also think that people are, even Brady, who burst through the door of conventional wisdom, if you will, by playing until he was 45. Even he, though, I think was like a bit bound by conventional wisdom because it was like, I'm 45. You know, I'm old. I need to, I'm done. When actually he had actually had a pretty good year. Um, I think maybe, maybe is it possible that LeBron James, seeing him play, even though he's younger than Brady, I'm sure LeBron was inspired by Brady playing at such a long age or old age, um, is he looking at LeBron saying, man, he's still doing it athletically. Maybe, maybe I can keep playing. Maybe guys are playing. We all are playing longer now. But bottom line is I got no issue with it. I, I do think this, though, Rob. I think he's all but begging to get back in the league. Like, he clearly seems like he clearly wants to play because Tom Brady is not stupid. He understands that when I say this, he knows what's going to happen. It's going to become a huge story. He even throws out teams, the Raiders and the Patriots, who happen to need quarterbacks. And everybody, or a lot of people, Rob, are taking this like he maybe would come back for the last few games of a regular season 
was the team that might, you know, be able to make the playoffs and he could help him make a run. I I think he's thinking more like coming back for the whole season. Cause the Raiders and the Patriots aren't likely to make runs uh without a quarterback like a Tom Brady, the way they are right now. So I think he wants to play more power to him if he can. Um, give him a defense, an O-line, a run game, some weapons. He needs all that. He needs all that because he's not what he used to be, obviously. But why not? And and the stuff about taking opportunities. I mean, come on, man. This is life. Everybody taking opportunities. That's that's it's a, it's capitalism. It's a it's a competitive society. That's in everything. You get mad at the sports writer or the broadcaster who works till he's 75? Or uh, absolute, absolutely. Why? Yeah. Why? They can I, do, that, you can do what you want to do. Of course you can. You're free but that to do what mean, you want to do. Who I, are you yes, to tell them you get can. self-righteous and tell them they're of taking somebody else's opportunity? But there is a time that people should step down. You don't need to be fired or thrown out. You don't need to be fired or thrown out. Vince Scully was still doing the Dodgers and sounded great. And he okay. still stepped down because he realized, let me let another person have an opportunity. Is that why he stepped down or was yes, he ready to just why. retire? No. Was he, he ready still, to just step down still and do done something it. else? Ernie Harwell yeah, sounded I mean, great. When I and it's almost down, 80 years old. Bob Euchre still doing Brewers games. He's what, like 80? 85 years old. Dude, okay, go so home. What? Go Let's home. Nah, that, no, that's, I'm dead you're serious. Wrong. Tom People Brady, go work. home. If they want to work Go spend time with your kids. It's ridiculous. 46 years old to play football. It's just, it's 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 being self-centered. It's being the it's world's got to be about to you. Do. No, it's not. Chris is Why bigger not? than that. Why can't You're he do being what he naive. Wants to do? It ain't about being no, I'm not playing being football. naive. I'm simply saying. A, he he part- needs a spotlight to feel good about himself. He's got some deficiencies in life that he's not satisfied unless he's the center of attention. That's what this is about. It ain't about football. You sound awfully self-righteous right now. Thank He's you. got some deficiencies in his life because he wants to play football. Does LeBron have deficiencies in his, his life because he's still playing basketball at 39? Well, because he's chasing and then something, play though. At 40? He, should, he ain't 46 trying to still chase Michael Jordan. It's, if it's LeBron is still playing at 46, thing? I'll say the same thing about why? him. If you can do it, if you're still good enough, why not? Who are you to tell an individual... He I'm giving my opinion. I'm not telling I'm Tom Brady. Saying, I'm but giving your my opinion. opinion. Very I'm giving my opinion he, on this he, situation. He is about, I'm about not about talking to Tom ego. Brady. I'm talking to you and the listeners, Chris. That's what this is, a talk show. We're talking about it. This is how I feel about it. You don't have well, to agree with me. I'm telling you how you feel is okay. very self-righteous. Oh, now you're telling me? Cause if I, I yeah, because if I came okay. and said you got a deficiency because you're 60 years old and still doing a talk show, why don't you give a 25-year-old a chance? That wouldn't be fair. I am you're giving doing a what chance. you want to do. You're doing what you want to do. You, If you want to do it at 70 and you're still good, so be it. When I step down and it won't, I doubt I'll be 70. It won't be because I can't do it. It'll be because I'm ready to move on to the next stage of my life. But everybody doesn't have to, it's not, doesn't have to be do it until the wheels fall off. I mean, if a guy wants to do Vince Scully, I mean, maybe he just wanted to step down. I doubt it was like, let me give the next guy a chance. I mean, that's that you talk about naive. That's no, naive. It ain't. It, I'm telling you that there are people who have a sickness about celebrity or being the center of attention, and they can't let it go. They can have a great run, do everything. Mike Francesa was on the radio in New York for almost 40 years. The dude retired. They gave him the greatest going away party and send off, Chris, you could have in broadcasting. And the, the guy couldn't stay home for nine months. Came back, was a flop, and that's the way he left What's the radio business. What's that got to business. do with this? That, but because it's ego. Because it was ego. Rob, it has nothing to do hold with on. It's ego. It, it, I think it's a love for football. And I'm not saying he doesn't. Tom Brady doesn't have an ego. A lot of people have egos. But I think this is more about I love playing football. He's going to be in the spotlight. If he doesn't play football, he's going to be paid almost $40 million a year to broadcast games. He's not going to be lacking for attention. 
I, I, I doubt all the work you have to put in to prepare for an NFL season and the chance that you might get your block knocked off is just about ego. It's about him wanting to play. Now, we'll see. Is he, is he still any good? I mean, maybe we'll see if it, anybody takes him up on this. I'm just saying if the guy wants to play and he's still good enough, then he can play. It's not about age. If you're good enough. And so last time we saw him, he still played fairly well. Pretty good. But it'll be interesting. I don't know if anything will come of this. I think it's interesting what he said about the Patriots. Rob, remember, he played with Gerard Mayo. Mentioned the Raiders. He played with Antonio Pierce. So I I wouldn't be surprised if conversations have already taken place. Not that anything's in, in place, but just saying, hey, man, you know, they need quarterbacks. What, what do you guys think? Something like that. But uh, it'll be interesting to see if anything comes of this, but he certainly put it out there.